conflicted on how to uh, respond to that uh, story because on one, uh, on one side it's a very good story but unfortunately the owner of the story has dismissed it as fake or the person that it targets because the deputy president uh, through his Twitter handle he said uh, that's a fake story so I'll believe him more mm -hmm. than the, the writer uh, because uh, you know your newspaper especially Nation uh, these days is a subject of creative imagination really? and, <laughs> and writings. <laughs> Um, but it would have been a good story because uh, the proposal by Kimani Chungu, as Eseli observes, uh, to me <coughs> makes a lot of sense. Um, because I understand that he had, uh, he had a proposal to have it cut into half, this uh, ceiling, so that you move it to 7.5 7 as opposed to 9. And uh, unfortunately, never uh, saw the light of the day. You know, I have one or two questions. Uh, first of all, number one, you have raised two issues. One is the curse of the handshake, which in my opinion, though related, should be uh, treated or debated separately with this issue of debt. Number one, on this issue of the curse of the handshake... But the argument, uh, according to uh, the standards argument at least, is that you cannot separate the two, that the handshake is the reason that we have this Pentecostal echo chamber. The fact, the reason uh, that some <coughs> of these uh, actions are... Uh, or rather that the executive has cut blanche. That is true, actually. And that's why I wanted to say, apart just from the debt alone, there are many other things that you can uh, blame the handshake. Number one, for example, and I have read... So that do you blame the handshake? For this particular issue, yes. you know, my time for either to blame or to support will come because these, these, these recommendations are supposed to by law come to the Senate. But given the way the executive and the National Assembly, because they are one, in my opinion, nowadays, it's like the National Assembly is an appendage of the, uh, of the executive. I am not so sure that these recommendations will come. But if they follow the law as it's supposed, it will come, and I do not want to anticipate debate, but I want to assure you that if these recommendations are to be brought to the Senate, they will not pass, at least not in the context of a National Assembly, where they gave a free reign to, to the executive to go ahead and borrow uh, a further th uh, three trillion without uh, putting any conditions uh, to it, ensuring that there is a, a, a catalog of at least to know what are the projects that this uh, particular uh, loan tends to implement, the previous loans that have been borrowed, what were they uh, used uh, to fund, you know, have a catalog, ensure that each and every of these loans, there is value for money because there is accusation and debate of are we borrowing actually to sustain ourselves as a, as a country or are we borrowing to grow? Because the uh, argument by economics, which makes sense, if you are borrowing to invest in capital intensive projects that will in future uh, spur uh, economic growth in the country, that is fine. But if you are borrowing to pay teachers, to pay police officers, to pay and uh, sustain parliament and judiciary, then we have a problem and we may soon go bust as an economy. Therefore, that debate and that time will come for us as parliament, it, it, as, as Senate. It will be even more prudent and more important to understand why, for example, three trillion, why not two, why not 1.5? And that avenue will be presented uh, for us and I'll have an opportunity to speak to those issues. But as it is, I, it is still not clear in my mind why we need uh, to borrow uh, more. Unless I see the memorandum, the presentation from Treasury, which I want to assume that my colleagues, you know, you cannot allow Eseli and, uh, and, 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 and Otiende to get away being wishy-washy about this particular issue. They sit in that particular house. What were their stand? It's not necessary to say just that I was out of the house. You know, Jakoyo will tell you. I was there. <laughs> no, for Otiende, you know what Jakoyo will tell you? That in the past, when you don't want to participate in a matter that you feel is politically risky, you look for a trip out of the country and return, return immediately after the issue has passed. I do not know what that, if that is what uh, Otiende did. But even for Oseli, <laughs> even for Oseli, you see, I want to give you an example of uh, this gentleman called Malema in South Africa. He has a small political party that has hardly 20 members of parliament in the South African parliament. But their voice is heard. You got, are the secretary party, general. My party never got a chance. You are the secretary. My party did not get a chance. But and the speaker does not recognize the secretary general. Let, let, let him finish. Speaker doesn't recognize the secretary general. <laughs> 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 now you want to deal with me on the <laughs> panel. Why could, you couldn't deal with the issue of the floor of the house. <laughs> you see, secretary general of Ford Kenya. You see, what, what is the stand of Ford Kenya, for tell, example, on this particular debt issue? Mm -hmm. just given Both my in parliament and outside of parliament. I've just given the stand Julius of the party. Malema, with less number of members of parliament than Ford Kenya has in the parliament of Kenya, has ensures his voice is heard. 
I think you need to change your tactics. No, no. You if need, if you, you need, have a formal, you need to talk to the speaker. If you have a formal <laughs> complaint, you know, say, allow yes. me to say, allow me to have my say. If you have a formal complaint on how deliberations are handled in the in the in the in, in the National Assembly, then raise it to the speaker. Do a petition. Have it shown out how many times for Kenya members have requested to speak and they've been denied that opportunity. But you cannot come and add a chapter to the Book of Lamentations <laughs> on a beautiful morning like this, <laughs> while in Parliament when it mattered, you guys never spoke. Therefore, or we cannot we the, cannot allow that. The, but back the truth I said is okay, pain in you so much. Let me let me come back to that <laughs> issue right after this.